are you struggling with your balance after your knee replacement? Do you feel like you just don't trust yourself? Your balance is a little iffy. Maybe you struggle standing on one, one leg, or maybe you find yourself shuffling your feet when you're walking, which is a indication that you have poor balance. If you have any of these symptoms or you just want to work on your balance altogether after your knee replacement, I have some exercises for you to try to better your balance. So my name is Dr. Samantha Smith. I'm a physical therapist that specializes in knee replacements. This is all I do is physical therapy for patients after a knee replacement and before a knee replacement. I have a website for you guys to check out with a ton of information, all written by me, an expert in knee replacement therapy. So go to succeedcourses.com. You'll see all my information on there. You can get a hold of me. You can join my exercise classes join my courses. Anything I could do to help you guys is on my website, succeedcourses.com. So let's get into some exercises to help your balance. All you're going to need to perform some of these exercises is either a wall or a kitchen counter works to a chair. And then I'm also going to show you one with a water bottle. Make sure it has some water in it to um, help with the stability of the water bottle. We'll demonstrate that here in a second. The first exercise I want you to try is heel to toe walking. So I have no shoes on. I like to do some of these balance exercises with no shoes on because it makes your feet work a little bit harder. Um, but if your balance is really poor, you might need the stability of your shoe. So you can use with or without shoes to do some of these balance exercises. It's kind of up to you and what you want to work on. If you do want to work on the strength of your foot, that helps with balance, um, you can do that with no shoes on. So the first one is heel to toe walking. So heel to toe walking is exactly what it sounds like. You're just gonna put one foot in front of the other and just kind of walk in a straight line. And I'm holding on to the wall here while I do this just for my safety. But if you wanna really challenge yourself, do no hands and do that heel to toe walking. So we're working on coordination of the feet. A lot of times what I'll see with my patients is they'll kind of, you know, they kind of crisscross their legs or, you know, they're not doing that perfect heel to toe motion. And that just tells me that they don't have that coordination of their leg quite yet. The knee replacement knee um, is sometimes a little bit worse, or I guess most of the time is a little bit worse than the other leg if it hasn't had surgery. After a knee replacement, you're going to lose a lot of your um, kind of coordination and balance in that leg because that knee has been cut. The receptors to the brain are kind of interrupted. So now you have to relearn how to do things with that leg and that new knee. So heel to toe walking is a great one to practice. Hold on to the wall if you need to. If not, no hands and really practice that good, slow and controlled movement with that heel to toe walking. Great exercise to do. Another one, you're gonna need your chair and you're gonna grab your water bottle and the water bottle is gonna go right on the floor. So I'm gonna put it right here so you guys can see. You're gonna hang on to the chair and all you're gonna do is tap the water bottle. Hopefully you can see it there. You're just gonna tap the water bottle with your foot and you're gonna alternate legs. I'm holding onto the chair for safety again, but if you really want to challenge yourself and you feel comfortable, you can do no hands with this one. So nice, slow and controlled. You're trying not to smash the water bottle. You're trying not to knock it over as well. So this is another balance exercise and also coordination. So this is a great one to practice. You can also put the water bottle to the side of you and practice those side kind of taps out to the side and you'll just do 10 times and then you can switch to the other side to make it a little bit more challenging you're going to not look at the water bottle each time so look straight ahead and then try to tap the water bottle so you're finding the water bottle with your foot this is what we call proprioception which is a huge component of balance um, after a knee replacement so a good test to see or kind of not see, but understand what proprioception is, is stick your, uh, or close your eyes first, close your eyes, and then put your hand out in front of you. So how do I know that my hand is out in front of me if I can't see my hand? My eyes are closed. So how do I know my hand's out in front of me? Well, I can feel my hand is out here. I can, I can just tell my arm is extended out in front of me. That's called proprioception. So your, your brain is communicating 
with your arm muscles to kind of tell you where you are in space. So that component is really important with balance. So a way to train that on your surgical side after your knee replacement is to not look at the water bottle while you tap it to the side and kind of feel where your leg is in space while you find that water bottle. So that's a really good exercise to practice. Another one you can do is we're going to grab the water bottle again. You're going to practice standing on one leg, preferably the knee replacement side. Stand on one leg and I want you to open and close the water bottle just like this. So you're doing, um, you do, you're doing a task while you're standing on one leg. So generally when people lose their balance, they're doing two things at once. They're walking and talking. They're, I don't know, they're walking with groceries in their hands and talking to a friend or, you know, they're walking and turning like this. You know, there's all these different variations of movements when we lose our balance. So that is a great one to practice. Another one you can do with the task is do side steps and open and close the water bottle. So you're kind of distracted by opening and closing the water bottle, but you're doing side steps at the same time. So it makes it a little bit more challenging. You're kind of, you know, you're not able to just focus on those side steps. You're focusing on the water bottle. So those are good exercises to practice. Those are called dual task balance exercises. I like to do those a lot with my therapy. Um, when I'm, you know, treating my patients, I'm not a big component of, you know, just standing in a spot just like this and balancing maybe in the first you know couple weeks after your knee replacement those exercises are appropriate but once you start to progress with your therapy and your recovery you want to move into more challenging balance exercises like the ones i demonstrated so if you like this video um, uh, please like it and subscribe and also comment below if you have any comments or questions please visit my website if you want to I see any of my other courses. I have a four week exercise class for those of you who are at least three months post surgery is a awesome class to get your knee in shape, work on stretching balance as well, all these different types of exercises. So visit succeedcourses.com. I'll see you guys again in the next video.